Well, you know, I guess around that time, there was also the J. Edgar Hoover thing. And I remember J. Edgar Hoover publicly said there's no such thing as the mafia. Right. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, the reason for that is uh, Hoover used to go into, uh, well, one of the reasons, I wouldn't say it was the, the, the definite reason, but he used to frequent some places in Manhattan that were mob controlled. One of them was the Stork Club. And um, I was told upon good information that he was there with his boyfriend at the time. And the Stork Club at the time was bugged and wired because the owner of the Stork Club, a lot of celebrities would come in there he would wire and bug these people and actually extort them or have information on them to either keep them coming to the club or whatever else he was doing. So he happened to catch uh, Hoover and his boyfriend on tape in the bathroom doing some stuff that they shouldn't have. And they held it over Hoover's head. And that was one incident that caused Hoover to never admit that there was a mafia. Right. I guess Hoover was also a cross-dresser. Yeah. And I heard there was photos and, and so forth. They had forth. photos and everything else. They knew for sure. He would never admit to the existence of the mob. Because at that point, if you were exposed as a homosexual, it was the end of that life, was life as you know it. Correct. These days, it's a little bit different. Correct. You know, the, the CEO of Apple is yeah. gay and out of the closet and no one even bats it, it. It was unacceptable back then. It's acceptable today. Right. And he ended up, because of not prosecuting, not going after the mafia, he ended up going after the Black Panthers as you know, public enemy number one. Correct. So it's kind of a weird, you know, uh, yeah. uh, the effect was, was kind of messed up, I think. And what happened was, uh, could have been left at that and everything would have been great. But Bobby Kennedy, on the other hand, picked up the mantle and he started going after the mob. Right. And JFK. that wasn't supposed to happen. Right, and JFK gets killed ultimately. Right. Your father was around during the whole Jimmy Hoffa time. Yeah. Did he ever deal with Jimmy Hoffa? Uh, I don't know if he dealt personally with Jimmy Hoffa, no. Okay. But I guess you had said in a previous interview that you have some idea where Jimmy Hoffa no. is buried or where his body was dumped off. Yes. I guess in the ocean? I can tell you that it's wet. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, uh, look, I, I know where it came down from. I mean, look, uh, the order came from New York, even though he had, uh, you know, he was hooked up, Hoffa was with the patriarchal family out of New England, but uh, the order came down from New York. And um, upon good information again, um, I think I, I know who the real shooter was. Still alive in yeah. prison. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually have some tapes um, with somebody that was with that person for quite a long time. And um, they reveal certain things on those tapes. Okay. Those tapes have never been released? No. Okay. So from everything you know, Jimmy Hoffa was killed by the Mafia. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Because, you know, that's what people assume, but it was never actually proven or disproven. 100%. Okay. Because he had the mob ties when yes. doing all the union activities. He was supposed to come home and just, you know, go off into the sunset, and he refused. He wanted the position back and couldn't have it. 